All right, class, settle down. Class is in session. Everyone get to your seats. Hey there, YouTube. I'm Yukitsu, this is the Yukitsu Times. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to RimWorld as we continue on with our little bit of a guide series here. So um, at this point in time, I want to just quickly go over what we've sort of talked about here, what we've learned about a little bit. So first of all, start off quickly with a little bit of housing, a little bit of power. You don't need too much. Just, um, just either the wind turbine or the solar generator is enough for quite some time. The wind generator is much more reliable, so I usually get that first. Um, then build yourself a quick refrigerator area leading into a kitchen, leading into a dining area. You want to make sure that's large enough for the future, so you want to make it a little bit larger than you would think you would have to. Um, and you want an area for prisoners. We started off with one over here. And um, after that, you want to make sure that you've got a production area where you'll be doing all of your producing. In fact, I need to remember to unsuspend that. And you need to start working on defenses as soon as you've been attacked once. So uh, once you've gotten all this sort of set up, research mortars and geothermal. Use the geothermal to get better energy so that you can have all of this fancy stuff that I've got here and have your turrets on all the time. And use mortars in the event that you're being besieged to thin out their ranks. Demoralize them much more heavily. They'll come and send an attack wave against you much earlier if you're demoralizing them effectively. So, you know, that is sort of the basics of what we needed to do so far. Set up trade, of course, as always, uh, by putting a sort of very specific concreted out trading zone. That is a very good idea to have it uh, concreted so that you don't lose it all to fire. In fact, I've actually missed a little bit with the concrete here. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to worry about that. I think that it won't likely spread to this stuff anyway, unless this wall, if this wall lights on fire, I'm going to be so unhappy. But uh, regardless, at this point in time, we want to look into starting to work on uh, improving our defenses just a little bit here. They're pretty good right now, but I want to make sure that we're actually starting to think about replacing this wall. I said that I was going to. Um, now we want to make sure that we actually do. I'm going to go ahead and start off with just a little bit here. And then just uh, build along the way here. Uh, we don't want necessarily to just build um, where this wood wall is. Replacing it would be too dangerous. What we're going to do is build the stone wall and then we're going to go ahead and uh, take down the wood wall afterwards for the resources back. Um, what we're also going to do is claim these buildings along here and we're going to take them apart for their stone and this gives us the ability to use these resources very effectively without having to worry as much about um, our own current resources uh, because it takes a long time to make stone uh, using the stone cutting table. We don't really have that kind of time right now. We've still got this dead person over there, but not much we can do about that. And uh, one of the other things I want to do, I'm going to turn off this dumping stockpile, turn off corpses, and uh, we're going to go ahead and actually empty some of these coffins, these uh, graves here, just because we've got this uh, now, so we don't need to worry quite as much about that. Now, at this point in time, we also want to work on improving our security, so we're going to go ahead and build another turret over here. And we can build another turret up here, and then we're going to sandbag around them. Let's make them a little bit more secure. And one of the other things that we're going to want to start doing at this point in time is um, looking into taking our floors here and changing them to something different. Now, the problem here for this is that if we go metal tile, we can look here, beauty two. So that's pretty ugly. We were to compare it to the wood floor. Uh, let's go look at this here. It's got a beauty of three. That's also actually not as good as I thought it was. Let's actually check these, concrete. Minus two. Okay, so so long as it's not a minus, I think it's going to be okay. So we're going to go with metal tile. Um, and we're just going to metal tile around these um, structures here. We can build nicer stone floors later, but for now, we're going to go like this. And um, Actually, is this paved tile, 0% max? Uh, there's zero beauty to concrete tiles. Interesting. Looks like the metal tiles take more resources. Okay, we're gonna cancel that. And... There we go. And that should be okay. We're going to need a lot more metal, but we've got plenty of resources of that. We're gonna start mining them out. And that should be fine. Now, I don't, strictly speaking, need to improve my defenses by this much now, 
but uh, it is definitely something I need to do eventually. And I want to figure out approximately how much power load I can take. Uh, one of the things I should also start doing is looking for that alternate source of power. So I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole through here. Um, oops. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. And we're also going to, about there, just make a security hall here. There we go. And yet another project that we're going to want to do is uh, we're going to dig up this rock here and we're going to build a housing expansion over there. So a lot of work needs to be done in our little peaceful village here. The thing about having uh, this much stuff is that you always need to be watching out for like uh, whether or not you can be doing anything useful with your time. And you know, you always have to be working on your improving your and increasing your defenses just a little bit and a little bit more and a little bit more as the time increases, because the waves always increase. Uh, let's eat this squirrel, I guess. It's been lying there a little while. Cargo pods, okay. Um, too far away and not something I really need. <coughs> All right. Looks like the deconstruction projects are going along pretty quick. Oh, wait, I thought they would have uh, started with the closest ones first. Interesting. Okay, do we have someone who can go and do, deal with that? Looks like we've got plenty of people who are working on crafting, which should not actually necessarily be working on crafting. Let's take you off of that. Now, the thing about crafting is that that uh, includes corpse burning for some reason. Not sure why, but it does. Um, hopefully someone's gonna go ahead and do that now. Yep, looks like it. Who's this being made by? A maker? Good. And here you can see him, uh, burning away all these corpses. That's good. Yeah, we don't really need a grave because we're burning up all these corpses. And, uh, one of the other things that we're going to be doing pretty soon, we want to build a hospital area. So, I'm gonna smooth this out to make it a little bit, uh, more even for a building to go in there, but uh, ultimately what we want to do is have a dedicated medical wing that's going to have the um, doctor beds or hospital beds that we researched earlier. And that's going to help us out quite a lot, so that's going to be an important thing that we're going to be doing. I need to go in here for a second. Uh, we're getting to the point with our population that it's important for me to get a second person trained up to cook these fine meals. Um, there's actually a breaking point where one chef cannot keep up with the entire population of your colony if you're doing well enough as far as that goes. Um, and I've actually hit that point a couple times. It's quite rare uh, that you get that far along before you get croaked by something, but it can happen. So you do want to be watching out for that. Uh, let's go ahead and wood door this up. And we just want to keep on expanding our rooms just because we're going to continue growing in population, hopefully. You know, that's the hope. It's the dream. Especially because we could potentially be getting maxi pretty soon. I'm going to actually change this so that we can store body parts. Just so that they're not in these people's bedrooms. It's a little bit creepy. Okay, you know what, Everett? We're not going to try to recruit until we've gotten uh, Maxi on our team. Just so that we're not wasting as much time. So here you can see that uh, Lestret, he cannot actually cook the higher level stuff. Oh good, uh, Maxi just joined us. Okay, let's have you grab a Lee Enfield. We'll have you upgrade your shirt to the button-down, and we'll have you wear the armor vest. Okay, so... Um, what the hell was I talking about? I'm sure I was talking about something unimportant. But, uh, anyway. Look at all this meat. Ah, oh, straight. Okay, so if we look at him, we can go into character. He's got uh, cooking. He's a bit passionate about it. But he's actually getting experience points by cooking, or by butchering up those animals. So, I've got him set to do that without actually making him necessarily... Um, any more or less um, devoted to cooking. He's not actually doing cooking, but he'll gain ranks in it by cutting up the animals. So he'll get him some experience that way, which is good. All right. I should actually probably have someone clean up this kitchen because this is like terrifying with how much blood is in the kitchen. Okay, and as well, something else has been bothering me slightly. I, I should probably have built, built this a long time ago, but put a door there. 
Alright, so Maker has made another sword. This one's just good. That's fine, though. Let's go ahead and add a, another one that we're going to make. And we're going to have you prioritize that. Because I don't want anyone else producing anything using that. Alright. I should probably have queued up the guns before I queued up any of this other stuff. Uh, I've noticed my batteries are all full. I'm going to turn off my thing here. Cargo pods again. That's good. Is this... Uh, no, it's just cloth. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to ignore it. Hmm, there's some metal up there as well. I could cut that out. It's not too far away. It is, in some ways, worth getting the stone resources that are further away as opposed to the close-by ones. Uh, I'm going to take Keisuke over here, and I'm going to have him strip that uh, guy over there so that uh, we'll get rid of him. So I don't want that guy making everyone too unhappy. Uh, we're going to turn this back on. It looks like we did not, in fact, have that much. Yeah, need grave. We're not actually going to need a grave because they're going to go into the crematorium. All right, so we've gotten ourselves a, uh, some metal plating for our turrets to sit over. This is just going to make it much easier for them to uh, resist fire attacks. I'm going to have to worry a lot less when they get attacked by uh, people using fire, which is quite a common thing. I would eventually like to have this whole front area built out of non-flammable materials just for that purpose, but, uh, you know. <clears throat> Do what you can with the time you have. And we can actually go ahead and build another improvised steel turret. We can build it right here. And that's going to be a pretty good spot for it. I'm going to give it the metal floors as well here. There we go. We're going to have to continue. Oh, got a combat supplier nearby. Okay, so this is where I get to show off the effects of these lovely, lovely Plasteel Longswords. Okay, so a Plasteel Longsword, just a good good one. You can sell one of them for uh, a lot of money. Basically, everything this guy's got. We're going to also fill up our money compl or our uh, medicine completely there. We're going to sell all the shotguns, small tough cocktails, the limestone club. Uh, we're going to keep the Uzi, we're going to keep the armored vest, but uh, selling all this stuff, you know, we're pretty much uh, doing okay here. I'm going to accept that. We got a lot of expensive medicine here from that process. And that is just a really nice thing to have. Okay, let's go ahead and also change the floors to this room. Actually, no, we can leave that net for now. We've got enough rooms for now. I'm not going to worry about it. So with this defensive setup, it's going to take a little bit longer for enemies to sort of punch through our defenses here. Which I am pretty happy about. Uh, we can go ahead and structure and start working on a little bit more of this wall here. Might as well. Just always keep expanding it as we get more rock. And uh, once he finishes this Plasteel Longsword, I'm actually going to stop building Plasteel Longswords for a little while, because we're not going to be able to sell them all. They are just so expensive that uh, as as we get them, it's not worth uh, producing too many, because you can only sell them one at a time, basically, as combat suppliers head in. It's why art, in some ways, is better to produce for money, because, you know, you get more of them. Uh, we've got another good quality one, so it's not worth another 2000 bucks or so. Really nice things. <coughs> Okay, so we've got 57 medicine, which is okay. I actually want more, but, uh, you know, you can't always get what you want. We're going to go ahead and build ourselves our hospital here. Now, uh, we don't need it to be too big, so we're just going to build it like this. And a bit bigger than that. And we want it to be easily accessed from the fighting grounds, which are to the south of it. So down there ought to do. And for furniture, we want two steel hospital beds at least if not more. <coughs> no, excuse me. Yeah, I can't seem to shake that ho uh, cough. I might have to go lie in a hospital bed pretty soon myself, but no, I'm okay. I'm, I'm pretty much okay. I don't know what the hell he's running up here to get. Hmm. Oh, well. What was that? Uh, combat supplier left. Okay, that is fine. Um, we've got a lot of turrets now at the front door. That's good. We've built that wall out, so we're going to add a little bit more of it again. Uh, limestone, so we're going to continue on with that. 
And once we've got the whole thing replaced, that is going to be good. Alright, one of the things that I could also start doing is adding this tile here. I like limestone for tile. We want to make sure that uh, the fronts of our houses are limestone tile or other types of tile, just so that uh, people are a little bit happier walking on it, because it looks quite nice, if I recall correctly. Let's double check that, actually. Yeah, Beauty 3, it's the same as wood, but uh, it's non-flammable, so better. I'm pretty happy with that. I wonder if marble's higher. You would imagine marble would be, but no, it's the same. That's very strange to me. I would have figured that that would be different. Better than concrete, though, for the people who are walking past it every day. Actually, Everett, we've recruited that other guy, so we can actually go back to trying to recruit you. Even though it's not going to pa pass, because, you know, he's got difficulty 99, but whatever. Alright, we are actually at that point where I cannot actually build this granite wall. That's fantastic. Um... Strictly speaking, I don't need that prison to be made out of granite, but uh, that slate, that's not useful to me. Let's see here, slate. I was wondering if I could take apart another building, but it looks like we've taken pretty much all the buildings apart. Sandstone, sandstone. Well, that's granite, but it's also stuck inside a wall, so I can't really get at that very effectively. We'll just have to make sure that we're uh, cutting up more granite blocks in our little area here. Alright. Now, one of the ways that we can sort of guarantee that is by adding a small dumping zone. Changing it to priority, and changing it so that we are just doing chunks. Don't allow rotten, we're going to change this to preferred. And uh, this is not preferred, is it? Normal, good. And uh, we can put a hauling order on the right kind of rock. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that we're getting just granite. Uh, looks like there's good chunks of it out here. So that is going to help out quite a bit. Is that granite? Yes, it is. Haul things, haul these as well. They're picking up the limestone instead, though, so they can finish off this little pathway that I've got set up here. Looks like we've actually got uh, enough granite now. I don't know what happened. He must have made some. Alright, either way. Maker just going ahead and slamming down more rocks. Alright, oh, metal chunks. Oh. Pirates. They'll prepare for a while and then attack. There must be a lot of them. Okay, yeah, there are quite a lot of them. They're going to prepare for a while and then attack. Um... Looks like we're going to be okay as far as people not running out and committing suicide too badly. Um, I'm going to have you get on the steel mortar. I'm going to have... Who's uh, actually pretty happy here? You're hungry. You're pretty happy. Let's have you go man a steel mortar. And let's have you go man a steel mortar. Now, the thing is, um, if they're going to wait around before they attack, then you can actually slam them a little bit with artillery. Um... If we wait just a second here, we'll probably see you first. You do not, uh, I'm not really happy about you guys doing this. Why would you do this to me? Yeah, Maxie got shot by somebody. Okay, so what happened to you here? Eh, just gunshot, okay. Okay, so he should go home automatically. <clears throat> okay, that's probably going to switch to going home. Yep, that's perfect. That's fine by me. And let's just change this to slow motion so I'm watching better of what happens to these people. Okay, so this should reload eventually. In like a million years, but let's check your happiness. Still happy. Still happy. Still pretty happy. Okay. Once again, sort of the benefits of giving people good meals. <clears throat> One good shot could take out, uh, like, two or three of these guys. It would be really good, but I'm not that lucky, it seems. Hopefully someone will go fix up Maxi, but he hasn't really got anything too serious. Local tortoise. Let's hope it's outside. 
Yes, it is. Okay. Nope, short on that one. Just a few seconds until the next one, I think. Nope, they're attacking now. We haven't managed to take out any of them with artillery, which sucks, but uh, it does happen. Okay, you three. Let's uh, have you head on over here. Let's check out everybody. Uh, we'll put you there. Keisuke, put you way back here. You can keep cooking, Sliva. Um, Maxwell, we'll put him there. You want to make sure that everyone is approximately where you would expect someone with that type of gun to go. Um, put that person over there. Straits, you've also got an LMG, so we're going to put you there. Maker, you can actually keep building stuff. I don't really care what you do. Sam, yeah, you're going there. Iskra. Mm, Bray, uh, you can go back here. So people are going to be a little bit unhappy since I'm kind of not letting them rest more than they necessarily should be. Oh, he would actually not do too well if he stood there, so let's uh, put him behind there. What's your health there, uh, Lee Enfield? Not too bad. I'm going to set that to medical. And you with your LMG can stand in there. Doorway's not the best cover at that angle, but it's better than nothing. Alright, so they're walking into a little bit of a kill box. But they are walking to it on much less unscathed than I would have liked them to be. Alright, so... Give him hell, boys. Okay, you just run back inside there. I don't know what hit that guy. <laughs> Boom. <clears throat> Alright, these shouldn't be too hard to take out the remainder. Okay, who needs treatment? Still maxi. Alright, so... This is a lot more people than I was expecting. Okay, um... Let's have you all... Undrafted. That's uh, fine. Okay, undrafted. Wrong button. Um, Bray, I'm going to have you grab Grizzly. Joe's, I'm going to have you grab Bishop. And Sam, I'm going to have you grab Fish. Okay, we cannot capture you because we don't have enough rooms, apparently. Is that a colonist bed? Yep, yep. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, all right. Well, what should I do under these circumstances? Let's uh, go ahead and make a wooden bed in our little, that area for just real quick. Keisuke actually... Yeah, he's building a hospital bed. Um, I'm going to have you start stripping corpses. Oof. Strip that person. You strip that person. And what I'm actually going to do is turn this into not a hospital bed. Colonist needs treatment, that's fine. I'm going to turn doctoring to very high priority because it should be high priority uh, either way. Um, oh man, there's another person here? What is going on, guys? Okay, so hopefully they'll survive long enough for me to start uh, picking them up, but uh, don't hold your breath. I think I'm going to probably at least lose fish. Okay, so... Oops. So another person I need to strip over there. Okay. 
Okay, let's see which of you two is more useful here. Okay, we've shot off your right foot, so you're probably not that useful, but you... Um, you've got an old gunshot to your brain. Actually, neither of you are that worth saving. So what we're going to do is just let this happen. Not going to worry about it. Yep, so... You're a tough luck. Oops, shoot, I oh, was not paying attention there. Okay, prisoner, um, these things, friendly chat, health. Uh, your right thumb got shut off, but that's not that bad. Uh, you're going to undraft. You were going to undraft in just a second, but uh, you... There we go. Okay, now then, um, let's set this for prisoners. We'll go ahead and grab you. You're slightly more useful. We could actually buy you a bionic foot. That would be quite good. I'm going to declare this one medical. This one as well. This one as well. And uh, once they get up, we'll change that to non-medical. But we do want these people... Did we get this guy already? Wow. Okay, that was fast. Uh, for now, let's... Uh, have you live in there, but that's not going to be a great place to live, but uh, we'll try and fix you up with somewhere better pretty quickly. Um, that was much, much faster than I had ever imagined that being. Okay, uh, where'd Grizzly run off to, though? Okay, you there. Okay, uh, we're going to have to get you a gun, I guess. Let's just get you set up with uh, one of these over here. Yeah. And uh, what do you have for gear? Cloth parka, boarskin pants. Let's get you a cloth shirt. Um... Devil Strand Pants, and uh, Power Armor. So what is your health like? Yeah, you've got... You're missing your right thumb, that's not a huge deal. Like, you'll, you'll recover, so... Oh, shoot. I've made this out of two stones. Oh, well, you know what? We're not gonna worry about it. What have we got for... Someone else cooking here? Oh, you actually have enough to do this. So, Grizzly, you're a good asset. Okay. We're going to go into production, cook stove. We're going to produce that there. Okay. Someone should just finish off fish over there. Okay, so this we're going to set as non-medical. Now that fish, or bishop has recovered over here. Let's see what you're actually like there. No injuries, you're perfectly fine. This character, you're really good at social. Okay, what I would love is for these to get finished, though they do take a long time to build. This isn't Devil Strat, is it? No, no, it isn't. It's just a Boom Rat. Hmm, Devil Strand Took, though. All right, let's go ahead and replace that uh, blown up turret there. We'll go ahead with structure. We'll take a sandstone block and we'll just put it right in front of there. And we can actually go ahead and put down these two now that that's uh, gone anyway. Oh man, I can't believe I accidentally used the wrong rocks here for this, but uh, oh well. Maxwell successfully recruited Bishop. Okay, where's Bishop? All right, you over here, what have you got on you? Got a cloth t-shirt, pants, parka. All right, let's uh, give you... Uh, let's give you another M24. We got lots of them kicking around. That'll help. Um, okay, so let's set this uh, for your room, I guess. We're gonna have to... All right, so our population is booming, which is good and uh, kind of awesome. Go ahead with this, and let's go ahead with uh, standing lamp down here. <clears throat> Our kitchen area is getting ridiculously gross, so I kind of need someone to go in there and clean that. <laughs> That's just getting nasty. Um, but one of the other things, we're running shorter on meat than I would like, so let's go ahead and hunt all these guys. Let's turn off most of our hunters so that we're only hunting with one person. 
And uh, that way we're not getting friendly fire incidences. Lifstrit, you can do that since you're no longer cooking. Alright, there we go. And 49 construction materials are missing. Uh, what are we missing for this? Medicine tenant. Tenet we're missing steel. Alright, that's interesting. Let's uh, get to mining, because that is kind of serious. Um, let's mine up this stuff as well. Alright, and any in here? Nope. Okay, well, we'll build a hallway up along here and just do exploration, searching for metals and stuff like that. And uh, the other way as well. Yeah, well. All right, Grizzly, how's your health? You're going to recover mostly, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, this guy finally croaked. That's fine. Let's go strip this guy off before you head off to hunt. That's fine. And, uh, yeah, this is going pretty well all around. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we need metal pretty badly if I'm running out here. Really do not want to run out of metal. Group of alpha beavers. Actually, that's pretty convenient. Ah, uh, they're way up in the north, though. I'm gonna wait till they swarm down to the south and start eating the trees down here. <laughs> All right, so this, now that that's finished, is going to be much, much better. Okay, floors. Uh, let's go with uh, limestone, or let's actually go with granite. It'll match the room. I don't know if I have enough granite, but uh, been taking it for granite. Ha 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 ha. No. Yeah, I thought that was pretty terrible too. Anyway, so yeah, this is trying to manage things while you're getting attacked by nonsense. It's not. It's not a great time to be managing things, but it happens. So yeah. Suffice it to say, though, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a medical room, like, set up with dedicated hospital beds. That's where we're going to be doing most of our surgery from now on, but we're also trying to expand our rooms because, like, we've got so many people living here now. Some people are living here against their will, sure, but, you know, uh, it happens sometimes, you know. I mean, what am I supposed to do about that? Uncapture them? I don't think so. Yeah, Grant Chunks. Hopefully this will cause Maker to get in there and uh, start making some stuff. It's what he—it's what his name is. I'd imagine he'd be good at that. Oh shoot! A mysterious blight has destroyed my crops, and an ancient ship has landed. Okay, well, <clears throat> this is something that's both interesting and a little bit awkward. It is not fun to deal with these. Um. Okay, we're going to have to start dealing with this like right right away. Uh, I'm gonna start cutting down that bit of stone there for iron. Uh, we need more iron out here. Is there any deposits that are exposed out here? We've been spending a lot of our iron. This is a bad time for this to happen. Um, let's go ahead and claim all of the stuff. Let's go ahead and deconstruct all of the stuff and let us access this iron here. That'll help a little bit. Now, this is pretty close to a geothermal, but uh, it's not close as I would really like. Okay. Got some limestone there. That's not really that helpful. Okay, what we're going to also do, we're just going to drill a hole through here like that, and we're going to make sure this has enough room. I want to prioritize miners for people who are good at it. That aren't doing anything else that's too important. Uh, Keisuke, that's fine. Iskra, that's fine. Jost, that's fine. Who the hell are you? Alright, well, you don't look like you're very good at- Oh, you're that guy that was good at talking that I was looking at that just joined. Right, okay. So, um... Yeah, this thing. This is an alien ship. It's full of aliens. They're jerks. We're going to actually be building a bunch of turrets around it. And we're literally just building it adjacent so that when they explode, um, they're going to do a good amount of a uh, good chunk of damage to this thing. <coughs> it's 
excuse me, um, when it actually does explode, it's going to cause a horrendous number of problems for us. In fact, we're going to go ahead and start canceling jobs. We're going to cancel all that. We don't want that done right now. We don't want any of that done right now. None of that. Um, let's see here. That looks like everything that I'd really... Oh, yeah, these I want to cancel as well. We just have to cancel these parts here. That's fine. And uh, we do need more steel, though, so we're going to go ahead and continue our trend of cutting down this stuff. All right, that's fine. Um, what animal died over here? Some wild boar just fell over for some reason. And it's cold enough that they're uh, naturally refrigerated. That's a little bit disconcerting that we're getting attacked by this thing this cold, but... Uh, oops. Yeah, we kind of want to surround this with these steel turrets. What's going to happen is the steel turrets will um, go up, basically get like one or two volleys off against this thing. And um, hopefully they'll explode with enough damage to destroy it completely. If it doesn't, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble, but I don't really know how to calculate that properly. Let's see here. Do we have enough metal around here? Where are you going, Keisuke? Actually, get metal here as well. That'll help a little bit. Let's unforbid this chunk of metal as well. Cargo pods? If it's steel, that's great. It's not, but it's in our house, so... Whatever. That is fine. Uh, Lestrade, given where he's hunting, is probably going to cause a bunch of friendly fire casualties. I can't really be concerned with that right now, but... Uh, trade ship. Okay, exotic goods. Um, we might buy some metal off these guys. I don't remember if we can. And I need to just double check who's better at... 15, you were at 15 social, right? Okay, that's good. Maxwell, what were you at? You're at 12 social, so Bishop's actually going to be better at this than you are. So that's interesting. Okay, uh, you're going to call these exotic goods traders their Bishop. Okay, and now we can sell them all our gold. This is the only thing it's good for. We can sell them a lot of this stuff. Uh, we're not going to sell any parkas because we actually might want that for winter. Uh, we can send, sell a couple of those. We'll keep that sell some of these, because we've got so many M24s, really. Uh, cloth toques, boom rat leather pants, pistols, helmets. Okay, um, we have all our cloth t-shirts, horse skin pants, frag grenades, cloth pants, synthread toque, synthread t-shirts. These guys buy, like, everything. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, Uzi, <clears throat> Cloth tribal wear. Lee Enfield. Kidney. We could sell that kidney that we harvested. Uh, Synthroid pants. We want to keep our parkas. Uh, squirrel skin pants. Okay, good. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and buy some prosthetics here. Um, if I can, I'm actually going to buy the bionic stuff. Okay, so a bionic arm we can buy. Um, can buy a simple prosthetic leg, I guess, since we can't buy the other kind. So that'll be a little bit better than a peg leg. And that is going to be fine for now. Okay. And let's see what we're going to earn from this. We're going to earn like 5,639 bucks. That is a lot of money. Okay, so let's accept that. And we're now at over 10,000 silver. That is amazing. Okay. And I just noticed it actually. You are doing a lot of not very useful things. Mining, that's fine actually. Okay. And we can even cut a little bit further in here. And further in here as well. So this is uh, going to slowly drive everybody insane is the reason that I'm, I'm so worried about this. You can see that Psychic Drone is at 7. It escalates pretty quickly. I think the next level is like 20 or something ridiculous like that. Uh, once it gets there, you're pretty much done for, so... Try and get this uh, done as quickly as possible. You just need to be getting um, this thing surrounded by the turrets. 
and then start bombarding the whole area with uh, mortar fire. You can give it some shots from somebody and then have them run away, but... <coughs> Excuse me. It does take a couple days to ex escalate, though, so you've got a little while. A little bit of respite, so hopefully we'll be okay. I'm going to actually let them uh, finish this off and then go move on to the uh, over there area before we worry about uh, any more of this. I think we've got enough to build a couple of these turrets, though, pretty much already. Okay, we're going to get more on-site steel over here. A bulk goods trader that adds steel would be amazing right now. We're just going to continue on getting the uh, specific stuff that has iron. This is almost invariably going to have that. Yeah, you can see that our people mining away quickly here are able to get uh, a little bit more iron a little bit more quickly. That's going to help us out a lot. All right, so if we can get power to them as well, that would be fantastic. Oh crap, uh, Bishop, go ahead and punch that scroll to death. Okay, so uh, animals have gone insane, which is really bad. Oh, shoot. He's going to get attacked by a boar as well. He needs to run. Uh, he's going to get killed out here. Yeah, he's he's been knocked out by rampaging animals. I think he's going to die. I'm not going to worry about it too much. There's not a whole lot we can do about this sort of situation here. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, let's rescue him. We might as well. Uh, we'll do it once these animals have sort of, uh, run into our defensive area. It'll mean that our people are getting a little bit of sleep. But, uh, yeah, I, I have too many people anyway at this point in time. Like, it's not really practical for me to continue on worrying about, uh, that. We're just going to let all these animals run into the front door here and get shot. I'm gonna let you run over here to not get shot by that. Oops, you wandered way too far out. Okay, so you two, let's undo that. Let's have you go rescue our beleaguered bishop over there. Rescue bishop. We should be able to get back to normal pretty quickly here. So I think that was all that we're going to get attacked by as far as wildlife goes. In that wave. It happens in waves, basically. And it really sucks. <clears throat> Bishop should be okay, though. We're gonna let that uh, stuff sort of sit as is. Can't really worry about that right now. Let's do more mining over here. Looks like this turtle must be attacking somebody. Okay, so we're going to go slow here. We're going to get these two both uh, recruited and hopefully kill this uh, turtle quite quickly. The problem with turtles is that they're ridiculously durable. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think that hopefully is the last of the things that are going nuts here. And let's go ahead and speed things up again. So unfortunately, the thing is that really slowed me down, which is bad, obviously. Let's see if we can get this in here. Not quite. Okay, I think we've only got like one day left and sort of like deadline before we have to have this thing finished. Uh, we can go. Bishop is no longer capable of walking. Okay, well, um, what's your problem here, buddy? Yeah, Psychic Drone, more powerful, yada yada. Okay, so health, is this anything permanent? No, it looks like you're actually going to be okay in the long run. He's just in severe pain right now, can't walk for now. Okay, so he'll probably recover. <coughs> oh, goodness, unlike me. Okay, so we need to get, uh, yeah, Mental Break, Sam... He's probably also got some other things going on in his mind, though. Yeah, he's urgently hungry. He's very tired. So the Psychic Drone's at 15 right now. That is pretty bad, but uh, obviously it could get worse. 
and we're going to go ahead and build that there. Going to need a little bit more mining. Let's see if we can't get a little bit more of everything else going on. <clears throat> He'll probably be okay. It's just he has to wake up and then eat. Because he's really hungry. Trade ship, exotic goods. Uh, Bishop would be nice if he was up, but uh, he's not, so he isn't. Nothing we can really do about that. Alright, so let's see if we've got any more iron that we can cut out. I'm not sure that we've got enough time for this. Oh, looks like we've got enough iron for this, though. Okay, yeah, we have. Okay, good. So let's get a power conduit. Up. We're going to build it across to here. We're just going to have it sort of surround these guys. We don't want it to actually be uh, close enough that's going to get wiped out by a single hit or anything like that, so this is actually going to be a bit tricky. Um, okay, so these have an explosion radius of about this far as safe. One, two, three. About that far, I think. Alright. I think we can get away with up here and over here. I hope. <clears throat> Hopefully we've got enough steel for that. Looks like it, I think. People are grabbing up iron from around here. Oh, animals have gone mad again. Uh, gonna have people hopefully run back home. Okay, nope. Maxwell's gonna have to help here. Let me attack that. Nope, nope. And hopefully we'll be able to get back inside without uh, too much incident. Maxwell, what are you doing fighting that boar? And that squirrel. Okay, let's have you run away. to have him rest. And there's an angry beaver back there, too. Oh, man. I think his leg's getting messed up. Oh, no. Okay. Well, he's down. That's fantastic. I'm gonna draft these guys here. Should be able to take out those animals. Okay, so you guys get back out there, do your thing. Oh dear, this is really bad. I don't know why they're hauling uh, rations. I'm going to cancel those, uh, make it so that they can't haul these. <coughs> Honestly, I don't know why they're doing it. Okay, so all the way out here as well. Nope, those are verboten. Verboten, whatever. There we go. Got a colonist idol, that's fine, all things considered. Just need to get this done. We're really close to the point where I think we can do this. Okay, so I can use B to reconnect here, or not quite, since this cable's not done. Oh shoot, hopefully this gets finished, because if it doesn't today, we're in for it. Okay, we need you to have them conduct, uh, product, produce these. Who's getting attacked now? It's you again. By what? 
Oh, good lord. Okay, so, Maker, you are going to finish this stupid thing. I don't care if you're about to reach your mental limit here. Nope, he's not going to do it. Okay. So let's, uh... getting a little bit ridiculous. Lestrats is about to have a mental break, but that's not surprising. Okay, I'm not sure why these things aren't say, capable of connecting. I might have put them out one too far. Let's actually check that. Security, improvised steel turret. Nope, these are actually all connected. So why are they not getting any power here? Oh shoot, I sh shortchanged this by one. Okay, so get that done. Uh, it seems like we're not quite at the point where I need to worry like super badly, but it is pretty bad. Okay, so we've got a bunch of people in the hospital as well, which is also bad, but nothing we can do about that. Is this an evil turtle? That is an evil turtle. Okay, um, cargo pods. No, we don't really care about that at all. Uh, we're gonna have to kill that evil turtle. So let's just have whoever is, uh, you know what? Forget about the silver there or whatever. Okay, you. Uh, where'd that evil turtle go? It's up there? Alright, you. Oh wait, this is also attacking, isn't it? Yeah, we just want to kill these turtles as fast as is possible, so... Let's get a line out here. You're also heading out there, right? Yep, so... It's just a gun line against a turtle. <clears throat> okay, so all of you guys, back to work. Mental break soon, we'll straight. And this should be good. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and try this. Keisuke, what the hell are you doing? Oh, breaking the line, okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is set all these to force attack this pod. And hopefully what it's going to do is kill the frickin' pod. Now, it isn't actually going to be enough damage from all these guns to kill this pod right out, off the bat. So if we look here, <clears throat> this crash ship, it's at like, most of its health, but, uh... Yeah, these exploding things dealing a lot of damage to the ship as well, so... Yes! Okay, that ship is down. We've actually even taken out one of these, uh, little jerks here. Oh, shoot! What are you doing all the way out here? Um... Okay, you need to go home. You guys all need to not be doing what you're doing. Um, hunting Muffalo. Actually, that's fine. That's, But he, he's probably going to die. <laughs> yeah, he, he is so dead. Yeah, I don't even really care that he's dead. I'm just so happy I got rid of that stupid psychic drone thing. Okay, let's get everyone back inside. Um, now, the thing is, they might attack us now, which would be bad, to say the least. Rest until fully healed. Let's have you do that. You guys, I don't want you going out there either. I want to see what you're actually out for, beating fire out. Okay, what we're going to do here is go to zoning, remove home region. None of this is a home region, as far as I care. We're not worried about that. Um, Okay, so what are you doing? Let's have you reconsider your priorities in life. You as well. And it looks like um, he's going to make it back relatively okay-ish. Now, these guys do poorly against turrets, so what we can do is let this happen. Maxwell, where are you going? Chatting with the prisoner Everett. 
Okay, I think he'll make it without getting shot, so... Maxi, where are you going? Hauling silver. Okay, I don't want you hauling silver. Where the hell is the silver? Okay, so we're not going to we're going to restrict these for now. Don't want people hauling them. So you let's have you do something else with your life. Um, now the turrets should be sufficient to defeat these guys. They're not that tough, okay? So, I'm just gonna slowly do- Slowly does it. Um, let's have you guys, actually. You guys can fight anyway, so we're gonna put you around here. May as well make use of you. A lot of LMGs in this group. I don't know what you're actually doing here. Maker, where are you going? I don't want you going there either. Okay, now the next wave is going to be the much, much tougher guys, which are going to be those uh, centipedes. These guys are tough, like they're hard to kill. Um, yeah, they're a little bit damaged, but not as much as you would think, all things considered. So we're definitely going to want to make sure that all of our stuff here is relatively repaired. Uh, looks like actually we're missing a steel turret here. When did that get blown up? Interesting. Um, Strat, where are you going? What are you doing? You're hunting Muffalo again. Okay, let's have you go back inside here, and let's have you turned off of hunting for right now. But we'll remember that you're the hunter. Actually, we can even turn him off hunting, because it doesn't really matter. Now he's just cleaning out there, that's kind of funny. Okay. Well, suffice it to say, we're a little bit in trouble because these guys are actually extremely dangerous. If we could fight them one at a time, we could actually melee them to death pretty easily. That's one of the interesting weaknesses of these guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Lestrat, you need to not do whatever the hell it is you're trying every time, Lestrat. Every time. It's like you've got a death wish. Alright, so at this point in time we can go ahead and research machining, which lets us uh, disassemble those guys. Maxwell can get on that later. We've sort of got people who are kind of idling, they don't seem to have anything to do. Mostly just KSK apparently. He could clean. Has everyone uh, got cleaning on? Okay, so let's turn cleaning on for everybody. Not sure KSK will do it anyway, but that's fine. Oh yeah, no he is. Alright, so, one of the ways to kill these guys is actually through melee combat. Which is really strange to me, but you can do it that way. And it's actually quite viable. But, um, what we're probably going to do is let the turrets do the run to the work. We're going to get the guns out, uh, all, all our guys to come out with guns once we've got an opportunity. Lestrats, what are you going to do if I let you go? You're gonna eat? Good. Silva, how are you doing here? Yeah, you're actually not that bad. I thought you'd be uh, much worse off after all that. Uh, those Inferno shells actually don't deal that much damage, but the Charge Lance, like, uh, it takes off limbs. Like, it is brutal. Okay, Bray, I take it you're building that turret. That is acceptable, Maxi. That, whatever the hell you're doing is not okay. Alright, so what I think this problem is, is that I've got the zoning for home region. Yeah, it, it's... I'm not sure if this resets or something, but it seems to be... And we don't even want this, uh, wood part here to be home region, we just want to repair the stone. Okay, so Maxi... Go do... Nope. Oh, stone cutting, that's what's the problem. Okay, so, we're going to have you back here. I'm going to let Bray just drop that off, and then we're going to have her run off and do something else, but, uh... Oh, yeah, she's going to go eat anyway. You can go here. Actually, you can go down here. That looks to be a bit safer.
villager named Rhino just like walked through the line of fire and just got owned. That's an inferno can- oh, you idiot. Oh, you managed to dodge all those bullets. Okay, all you people are providing a little bit too much of a problem here, but uh... Even you, Keisuke. Even you. Okay. Looks like we should just actually have everybody recruited. I'm getting kind of lucky here, though. Which is kind of fun. So this is why it's nice to have these things on this uh, sort of non-flammable surface. This isn't taking damage. That's very strange to me. Hmm. <clears throat> well, either way. This fire can't really expand or grow as the way it uh, probably would normally have, so that's good. Yeah, you can go through those doors, that's good. You three actually just have you. It's kind of amazing that this isn't taking that much damage, but uh, whatever. So if we look at this guy, it's uh, left hearing whatever is shot off. That's good. We'll stretch. Damn it. Okay, good. So we've uh, fully fended off the spaceship part that randomly just landed in our stupid place. Okay. Let's get this fire under control and then uh, hopefully... Oh yeah, rain. That's good. Even better. Let's get everyone back onto schedule here. Lestrat, you're our hunter. That is fine still. <clears throat> Good. And you, how's your health there? You're you're in an okay state. I'm actually going to tell you to... No, you can stay in bed. You can stay in bed till you're better. Might as well let you. you can take his minigun. Interesting. All right, so that was one of the biggest threats in the game, is honestly that. It is ridiculous trying to deal with it. It, like, I just hate having to deal with this stupid thing. But fortunately, it does not come along all that often. I can recover a lot of the iron that I spent there. So it's not a total waste of resources. It's just a big waste of resources. So, you know, it, it's got some uh, pluses. It's got some minuses, but mostly entirely minuses. I don't recommend you ever let this happen to you. Um, let's see here. Might as well take these. Where'd that gold come from? Hmm. I think I was carrying it and had someone drop it, but uh, either way. Now, one of the peculiarities of these guys is that they actually take a while to, like, actually die. In fact, they will never bleed out from the injuries that you give them, but... You can eventually just sort of take them and turn them into paste. Which turns into metal. So, useful stuff. But, uh, a little bit peculiar. All right, so we finally finished dealing with that problem. Let's go ahead and go finish off this. There we go. And uh, we still have to get more iron because we used up pretty much all of our iron stores dealing with that problem. And uh, we actually didn't have a whole lot of iron since the last time we did it. So let's go ahead, do all this. Group of visitors, that's fine. But ultimately, yeah, uh, that was pretty interesting. I don't really like dealing with those the honest way. Almost entirely I want to deal with them by doing what I just did there. By sort of cheesing them using um, the, the explosions that the turrets cause when they die. So, you know, that, that's kind of the way to deal with that, in my opinion. Oh, we can take that silver now. It doesn't really matter as much. And these. Get it out of the way so our people are not trying to get them later. Although, this is probably going to, like, someone's going to wander out to get those and then immediately get attacked by something, but, uh, whatever. I've noticed that these have started getting their growth stunted, so these things aren't actually going to grow. Um, we're at that point where I feel like we want to start working on our uh, agriculture, making it sort of more indoorsy. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to build a growing lamp just there. We can uh, wait till that actually gets built, but... In the meantime, we can sort of build our structure around it. Wood. Um, how did I actually have this set up here? Okay, yeah, I did. Okay, good. 
Let's get this started, but uh, we won't be able to finish it. Because I want to be able to figure out something in particular. Uh, we're going to be using the precise growing zones, just like we did with our... Um, whatever this is called, communicate orbital trade beacon. So we want to make sure that uh, once this is up, we've got uh, the exact radius of it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to rezone here. Uh, delete zone there, there, and there. And we're going to add growing zone out to here, out to here, and again on this side, growing zone out to here, and again, out to here. Okay, so as you can see, this is all one contiguous sort of growing zone. I'm going to go ahead and structure it up here. Um, looks like I messed that up just a little bit, which is actually going to be important. Although they can get in from the other side, so it doesn't really matter. And we're going to go ahead and make this an indoor growing zone that is Taylor designed to work with that. So we're going to go do a little bit of a bump here, and you'll see why in just a little bit. We're going to go ahead and put in our door over here, and we're going to go ahead and put in a temperature heater, and we'll put it in here. We'll just need a little bit of power cabling over there. Like that's fine. We actually need to extend this cable up here anyway, so we'll do that. Alright, so... This is going to help us grow these all year round, and it's going to prevent them from dying off for too many of these. Some of them have already sort of died off, so it's going to make it hard to do. But uh, we're going to do that for that. We're also going to go ahead and do this for our potatoes. Looks like our potato farms are actually basically already designed in that shape, so we're going to go ahead and be happy with that. Um, we'll deal with that once that gets built. But as you can see, we've got this sort of light here. Looks like I can cancel, actually, that. And as you can see, we've got this heater in here, and this is going to heat up this room so that it's perfect growing temperature, 20, 21 degrees, whatever, it doesn't really matter. And, uh, yeah, you need it to be an enclosed area, which is why it's important to have the sun lamp in here, even if it's uh, sunny enough in winter. Now, you can get lazy and just make a sort of generic-shaped zone here, but um, I think it's much better if you go ahead and make it a very precise zone, so that you can uh, definitely get the best use out of the area. Uh, we're going to go flooring here. We're going to go with a little bit of paved tile. And this is going to let us continue growing this Devil Strand throughout the winter. Oh, who's having a mental break? Let's try at you again, always. Of course it is. Alright, let's uh, get these guns picked up. Now, if I recall, some of you guys have gotten knocked out and don't have guns, therefore. So, Bishop, you're one of them. It's Bishop... Might just be Bishop. Oh, Bishop Maxwell. Okay. So, let's have you pick that up. Maxwell, you're going to go get uh, the other one. There we go. Good enough for me. Why is that? Oh, right, I canceled that. Uh, granite blocks. Or granite tiles, I mean. And we're going to want light in that room, so I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Run power into there as well. And it's getting into winter, so we'll deal with the heater first. And uh, that should be fine. Need to cut down more trees, it looks like. Oh, what's going on now? Uh-oh. Uh, being besieged yet again, so... Yeah, we get besieged an awful lot. It's a thing that happens, it seems, quite often. Uh, right, we need to pick this up. We can pick those up as well, they're probably frozen. Um, where'd that other guy of ours get his butt kicked? 
tortoise is dead over there. We'll pick that up as well, I guess. Actually, that was going to spoil pretty soon, it looked like. Where'd he go? Huh. Mysterious uh, dead tortoise. Actually, no, it's four days. That's quite a while. Um, but for the meantime, what we're going to focus more on is other things, like trying to get our stupid base set up properly. And we're going to have Lestrade not do whatever the hell it is he's doing there. Um, let's have him prioritize plant cutting. Even though he's not necessarily good at it. Gonna put him on regular for hauling and then uh, see what we can get him to do here. Yeah, there we go. And we do need, in fact, quite a lot more um, metal. Or we need a lot more everything. Okay, man, steal the mortar. Man, the mortar. Uh, Maxi, you're doing something crazy. I don't approve. Anyone that goes off that direction, I'm just gonna tell them to go onto the uh, mortar. Sam, where are you going? You're going to do something crazy. We're out of mortars. We're going to prioritize uh, working on granite tile. Group of travelers, not gonna worry about them. <coughs> And this should be a little bit interesting. I think they're using the stuff that I left there. Those jerks. Actually, no, where was the, uh... Oh, no, it was here. Okay. Still can't recruit these guys. Uh, all three of you. All of you guys. Okay, well, this is why you should never actually unforbid anything anywhere. Okay, we're going to find wherever that was. Actually, you know what? That isn't in gun range of those guys. I'm okay with you guys trying to risk grabbing it. I'm just gonna be careful watching you guys while you do it. Looks like Joe's has decided it's a terrible idea regardless. Now let's see some shots here. Hopefully these guys are gonna walk by those guys and uh, disrupt them a little bit, but even better would be a lot of kills with the artillery. <coughs> One of the things I always forget to do, like, what you kind of want to be doing when you do the artillery is to make sure that you reload it after every sort of uh, time that you use it. Make sure that it gets back, back to fully reloaded. But I'm not actually sure if that matters. I, I'm just getting the impression it does, because it seems highly variable. Sometimes they just shoot it right away, sometimes they don't. It's really weird. Alright, let's see what happens here. Bunch of dead animals lying around. I'm just going to leave them be. Let's check this. Come on. No, that's nowhere near. Yeah, so you can see these guys like going around picking stuff up, but it's all stuff that's relatively close by. And uh, yeah, we haven't actually got the ability to pick uh, to fight fires here because we don't want to. So that's all good. Let's check our thoughts again. Urgently hungry. Okay, you need to go. Pessimist, we don't care. Um, Strait. You're an idiot all the time, so we're going to go ahead and put you on the steel mortar. Oh, here comes a streak heading in. Huh. Well, our prisoners now live in the same room together. Isn't that lovely? Okay, well, let's check their thoughts about that. Cabin fever, serious. Sharing bedroom. Prisoner, you're... Oh, crap. Ella, I am very sorry for... That, uh, how's your health? Your right foot has still been shot off. Fantastic. It's a good thing you don't really, strictly speaking, need your right foot. Okay. So it looks like one of them sort of got knocked out, but, uh, their bombardment has continued. I think they're firing at KSK over here. Looks like it hit the mountain, though, so that's fine. Happy enough with that. Lobbed a couple over here. Let's see what this little second one will do. I saw a second one. Oh, so close. And here's theirs. Oh, let's see what ours does. Nope, short. Theirs. Why? Uh Okay, furniture. Huh. Okay, let's just do this. Every time. Our poor kitchen table.
I like how these two are just sort of uh, hanging out together now. Let's put a wooden door in between these rooms and then uh, unlock it. Yeah, we need to get more plants cut. Okay, so let's go ahead, chop down all these trees. Chop down whatever trees we can over here. Chop down all those. Um, thoughts? You're hungry, you're cold, you're fine. You're cold, you're a pessimist, you're cold. Okay, that's all okay. Uh, this one's a fire shell heading in. Let's see where that's gonna land. Lit my crops on fire. Fantastic. That was a good shot. That was a very good shot. Uh, that hit the guy, but it didn't seem to do anything. Yep. Sometimes that happens. Yeah, damn it. Rook lit himself on fire. Fantastic. Good job. Good job, my friend. Well done. Okay, let's uh, do this. One of the things that we're going to start uh, worrying ourselves about now is getting heating into all the rooms. Oh, that's, uh, that's Synthred. We're gonna want that. Hard snow. Hmm, interesting. Wonder what the difference between hard snow and soft snow is. Or I guess it's snowing hard, is what they mean, but, uh, in any event. Building needs power. Standing lamp. Yeah, we were working on that, but, uh, not too worried about that. Okay, we're using up more power than we've really got to give, so we're going to turn these off for now. Especially the potato field one. We're going to go ahead and uh, move you guys back here. Ray, you can actually stay where you are. You two. Um, do you have an M24? Yes, you do. Do you have an M24? No. Um, there should be okay. I don't think that gun's going to explode. <coughs> It is weird to me how in this game uh, snow seems to put up fires, but uh, that's fine. And we're just gonna grab anybody who looks like they're about to do anything and they're not like eating or anything like that. Like you, you don't look like you're eating. You're building something, I don't really care. So we'll just let this uh, change. I just threw a grenade at some random guy. Alright. Maxwell, you can continue doing what you're doing. Okay, still a little... Oh, you're eating. Okay. <clears throat> I just love it when they sort of come at you one at a time. Alright, so you, you're heading out to your do whatever. You as well, so let's have you just sort of stand there. Gangster. Just a little bit. You can really see the efficiency of this sort of defensive setup. Okay, good. I think that's uh, all of them, pretty much. So you guys are all off the hook. You're off the hook. Is this someone? Nope. Prisoners. Oh man, we just, just, oh, whatever. Okay, set this for prisoners. Going to go ahead and capture. Let's check how useful you guys are. Well, we shot off your right middle finger. Um, you're good at mining and you're really good at cooking, but I don't really need that right now. Are you the only one that's actually alive? It was you and it was you. You're much better at shooting. You know what, I'm gonna capture you because you're better at shooting. Um, right. All right, you go get a gun. Got lots lying around here. Let's pick up the R4 charge rifle with this guy. Okay, so we need to go ahead and we need to go and build more rooms again. This is getting silly. If we do this fast enough, we could potentially get the other guy, but honestly, I don't want to feed that many people. So, we're going to probably just let him die. <clears throat> you 
You know what? Actually, uh, let's go ahead and strip all these bodies as well. Oh, right. Yeah, uh, that was the living guy. Uh, you, you, I'm gonna have you wear the power helmet, and, uh, you, just a lot of you, jeez. A lot of guns, which is good, I guess. Trade ship, combat supplier, okay. And, uh, Bishop, are you still alive? I forget. Yep, Bishop's still alive. And he was going to go eat, but uh, let's interrupt him quickly for that. Uh, Maxi just turned 25. And after this, I think we're going to call this an episode. We've done quite a freaking lot. We've survived quite a freaking lot. So... Um, yeah, I think we can be pretty proud of what we've managed to survive through this episode. Um, and we've got so many people, it is kind of ridiculous. Uh, minigun is actually kind of hilarious, we're gonna keep that. And look how much gold we've got. We've got, er, silver we've got. We've got 12,000 silver. Um, we've got a pretty thriving base. Like, it, the problem that we have is we don't have enough beds for all the people that we've got here. Like, we've got so many people living here that it is getting a little bit difficult to keep track of. And it is also getting a little bit difficult to house them all, so that is always a good sign. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and start working on a housing project back here, I think. And uh, that is going to be the end of our episode. It is literally just going to be us building this house back here. And it is going to be... oops. That much? Eh, that is exactly enough. Okay, so that is... That is actually big enough using that wall there, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut down this. And we're going to make a room around here. Yeah, that should be fine. Oops. Structure, open doors. And then we'll have some more houses back here. We'll dig into there a little bit. But yeah, you, we, you can see that we're having a lot of success here just from how many people live in our colony and how fast it's growing and all of that. So. Once you get to that point where it's becoming difficult to house everybody, you're doing pretty freaking well for yourself. Uh, we need a little bit more power because we've started to get into that point where we do want more power. But uh, we also need to work on all this sort of uh, infrastructure and stuff like this just for housing people. Which is insane. It's just really great. So, anyway, I hope you found this episode enjoyable. And of course, as always, I hope to see you all next time.